Hi there. Another way of expressing algorithms is by graphically representing them in a flowchart. A flowchart is precisely a diagrammatical representation of the steps defined in an algorithm. Flowcharts use special shapes to represent different types of actions or steps involved in a process. The oval shape represents a start or end point of an action or process. The arrows act as connectors that show the relationship between the representative shapes. A parallelogram represents input or output. A rectangle represents a process. In the diagram, filling the kettle, heating water and making tea represents a process. A diamond indicates a decision. Either yes or no, like in the diagram, a decision to be made is, has the water been boiled? That's the question in the diamond. These are some of the most commonly used shapes in a flowchart. Algorithms can also be represented using pseudocodes. Pseudocode is a simple way of writing programming code in English but not in an actual programming language. It uses short phrases to write code for programs before you create it in a specific language. In other words, it specifies the steps required to process a task. Same example in pseudocode can be expressed like this. Organize everything, plug in kettle, put tea bag into cup, put water into kettle, wait for boil, and so on. So here all steps are written in the form of small code. Algorithms can also be represented as a set of instructions called programs. A program, by definition, is a set of specific instructions that perform tasks when executed by a computer. A computer requires programs to function since they contain instructions which specify activities to be performed according to the user's requirements. So, as you can see, the codes are displayed and they combine together to form a program. Let's try and learn about implementation of algorithm in program, that is programming languages. Before understanding about programming languages, we need to know about programming. As you know what are programs, hence programming is a procedure which involves writing the programs. Therefore, by definition, programming language can be defined as a formal computer language designed to create programs to control. Let's assume this is the first time you're hearing about the term programming language. What strikes in your mind? To the majority, the first response would be C, C++, Java, etc. However, few of us happen to know the underlying principle of programming languages. Well, to shed more light on this, suppose a person wants to talk with someone. He, she would use any language of his or her preference. Similarly, a language is needed to communicate with a computer. This language is called programming language and the type or choice of language depends on the needs of the user. We will study these languages in upcoming topics. Thank you.